Hello and welcome back. Today is Friday, April 4th. I have your four best bets for you. That's three player prop plays and one same game parlay plus 200 odds for you on today's NBA slate. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the page. I hope you're having a good day and a great day to be at it. While you're here, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It makes me know you like the content and it just takes a few seconds and it's free. So might as well take advantage of it. We have an action-packed games, uh, 12 games slate ahead of us today. And these games are all a little weary up and down. So as always, end of the year reminder. These games, some of these teams are putting out players that haven't really played that often or at all this season, or they're just packeting it in for the rest of the season. So some teams have some things to play for, and some of these teams are just one, two, three Cancun mode already. So always make sure to take players and matchups I and mean, games that were it means something for the teams. A la the Wolves Suns matchup later tonight. That's a great example versus the Portland Trailblazers uh, playing the Wizards today. Two completely different games. Two teams playing for to lose, and then two teams trying to go for seeding in the West. So always make sure what make sure what you're looking at and what team you're betting on. But today, got four plays before you. Before we jump into today's action, we gotta recap yesterday's action. Yesterday in the NBA, we end up going three and zero. A nice sweep. Twitter plays last two days. After uh, Wednesday's, uh, I think since Wednesday, we're on a five zero run here. Got to love that seven and four on the week. We had the Knicks. King same game parlay plus 140 odds. You saw me tweet it out. I was on the blue line and I knew these ones were going to hit. And it did. Josh Hart got the last rebound for us at 8. So bonus 10 rebounds. And then uh, uh, Dante DiVincenzo 15 points and Brunson 25. It was a great game overall. Fun game. Uh, the Knicks came back from behind and won that. So it was a lot of fun watching that one. Steph Curry, if you saw me on Twitter, I tilted it. I was done. I was out. And then he had a 18-point second half, and I was just back in right after that. It was one of those, hey, I, I was over it. I was mad. They were up big, too, and they continued to put Curry back out there, and he secured that over for us. you got to love Steve Kerr for that. You are an MVP for us today. And Nikola Jokic, he balled out in the rebounds over 12.5 on DraftKings. I believe this line went up to 13 yesterday. Love to get the value early. So if I really do love a play, always make sure to follow my Twitter at DeWidler. If I absolutely love a play and I think the line is going to change, I tweet it out the moment I see it. So it could be early in the morning, so have notifications on. You'll see me post it. If I love a play, I'll tweet it out early, even if I'm making a video that day. But today, got four plays for you, three player props, and let's just jump into it. And for the first best bet of the day, it's going to be in that Celtics-Kings matchup here. Little worry here. Player we're betting again. Going back to Wednesday. We're running it back. Celtics at home. I like Jalen Brown. Over 21.5 points coming at minus 130 on ESPN bet. Hey, he's balling out and he has a great matchup today. Let's jump into it. He's playing the Sacramento Kings. They allow the six most points to the small forward position. He is coming in this game questionable with a hand injury, but the last game he played, he had that same questionable hand injury and he got the over for us. I think he finished with 23 points in that game. So, Love the spot here today. Back at home. He's gotten this over seven of his last ten games overall, averaging 25.8 points per game. He's gotten this over five for his last five games versus the Kings, averaging 28 points per game. Love that he's gotten this over four of his last five home games as well, averaging 28.2 points per game. Coming off of games with one day of rest, he's gotten this over three of his last five, averaging 25-plus points per game. And he's a 61% hit rate at home this season. So Jalen Brown at home here. I saw Derek White is questionable with back spasms. So if he's out in this matchup, they could lean even more heavier on Jason Tatum and Brown here. So I love Jalen Brown in this matchup. He has the matchup here. Love is over 21.5 points. For my second best bet and for my second player prop play, hey, we have taken this guy's play for the Bulls Knicks matchup here. We are continuing the run here. We're like Kobe White earlier in the season. We took him every single night until he took us off the wagon. We're Ryan DeMar DeRozan here. I can't believe we're getting this line again. Oh, uh, it's 25 plus points at minus 120 on FanDuel. I thought by now it'd be at 26 and a half or even yeah, 26 and a half points or 25.5 and a half. But we could still get 25 plus points, and I'm taking that every time. DeMar DeRozan, 25 plus points. Let's dive into it the Knicks allow the ninth most points to the power forward position Tamar can take advantage of this matchup he's got us over five of his last five games overall six straight 27 plus point games got to love that he plays a Knicks team that he's gotten over six of his last eight games versus them 
Back-to-back 25-plus points games versus the Knicks. Love that. Uh, he's gotten us over five of his last five home games as well, averaging 28.2 points per game. He's gotten he's gotten 20 plus field goal attempts four of his last five. So he has the green light to shoot for the Bulls, and he's been taking advantage of that. I have him projected at 29 points in this game, so we're getting a nice discount four points on this. So I love this 25 plus points for Demar Derozan. For my third best bet and for my last player prop play of the day, it's gonna be in that Suns Wolves matchup here. Going with the guy we haven't taken these last few times, but I'm I'm not, I'm in it now. He's been balling out these last two games. I'm going with Devin Booker over 33 and a half points assists coming in at minus 115 on FanDuel. Let's jump into it. He's gotten this over three of his last five games, averaging 38.8 points assists. He can easily get this over with just points alone, as he's proven in these last two games. He's coming off a 52 point game and a 40. Ryan with the hot hand. He is making everything he can shoot right now. And we're going to continue riding the wave. He's playing this Minnesota team. He's allowed this. Uh, he's gotten this over six of his last seven games versus them, averaging 34.6 points assists. Love that. And Minnesota allows the eighth most assists to the point guard position. So Devin Booker can easily drive into the lane, kick out to one of his three-point shooters, and they can splash home a three for us and easily get assists. He's coming in this game with uh, three out. Uh, he's coming in this game... He's coming into this game getting eight plus assists three of his last seven games, averaging seven assists per game. So he is proving he can get the assists and score a bunch at the same time. He's gotten this over 59% of the time at home this season, averaging 33.3 points assists. He's gotten this over three of his last five games with one days of rest with averaging 34.8 points assists. And I have him projected at 35 points assists. And total. So you got to love that. I think this is going to be a great game for Devin Booker here. I think this game is going to be exciting overall. Both of these teams are jockeying for positioning. And so I think this is a great over 33.5 points assist for Devin Booker. Sticking with the same game right here. Going to be doing my same game parlay in this Wolves Suns matchup. I think this game is going to be a ton of fun overall. Uh, the over under has crept over a few points. I think it opened at 214. It's at 216.5. So I think these two teams can even explode for this matchup for points. Uh, being at home for the Suns here, uh, Wolves have been pretty good these last few games. And there's one player on the Wolves that balls out on the road here. But these four plus legs is going to be coming up for plus 202 odds on FanDuel. Coming in tonight, I love this spots. I love these spots for you guys. And let's just dive into it. Four plus plays for plus 202 odds for the first leg. It's going to be Anthony Edwards, 25 plus points. He's got this only over two of his last five games overall, only averaging 21 points per game. But he's got this over five for his last five away games, averaging 30 points per game. He's actually gotten this over two of his last three games versus the Suns, averaging 25 points per game. So he has a history of getting the over as well. He's gotten this over eight of his last 10 away games overall, averaging 31.1 points per game. I think Ant Edwards is going to step up big in this matchup. Second leg. Devin Booker, 25-plus points. You heard me yabber about him. Points assists. I think he can easily get 25-plus points here tonight. I was wanting to take those over 26-and-a-half, but all the lines moved it up to 27. So I'm staying here at 25. He's got this over three of his last five games, averaging 31.8 points assists. Two straight 40-plus point games. He's got this over six of his last seven games versus the Wolves, averaging 28 points per game with a 59% hit rate at home. Devin Booker is going to ball out in this matchup. Third leg, Kevin Durant, 20-plus points. Hey, he's at home where he's gotten this over 86% of the time. So KD could be is Mr. Reliable leg on this one. He's gotten this over two of his last three games versus the Wolves, averaging 25.7 points per game. And he's gotten this over five for his last five games overall, averaging 27.4 points per game. KD, 20 points, should feel free. Another free leg here that I think is Rudy Gobert, 10-plus rebounds. He's got us over five for his last five games, averaging 12.8 rebounds per game. He's got us over five for his last seven versus the Suns, averaging 11.6 rebounds per game. He's got us over 10 for his last 10 away games as well, averaging 13.8 rebounds per game. 83% hit rate on the season overall. No cat. Nas Reed plays behind the arc more. I think Rudy Gobert easily grabs 10 rebounds for us. These four plus legs come out for plus 202 odds on FanDuel. Love this same game parlay tonight. Those are my four best bets for you in the NBA today. As always, if you're new to the page, thank you for subscribing down below or leaving a comment down below. Let me know that what's your best bet of the day. As always, please leave a like down there. It's quick. Or please make sure to follow my Twitter at DeWidler. You can see me tilt the whole night as these plays go on. And we can celebrate as we cash these together. Let's go for what? 
Nine straight winners for us. That would be amazing to cap out the week. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Keep on smiling. I will see you in the next one.